Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Acrobat is highly customizable and Adobe lets you adjust your preferences for many different program settings. To launch Adobe Acrobat's Preferences dialog box, select Edit Preferences from the menu bar. At the left side of the window, you will see a long list of categories for which the preferences may be adjusted. Click a category at the left side of the window to view the individual preferences within the selected category in the area to the right. At the top of the list is a grouping of the most commonly accessed categories, Commenting, Documents, Full Screen, General, and Page Display. Underneath that group is a much longer alphabetized list of other categories that have customizable preferences. Select the Page Display Preferences. The Page Display category gives you access to features related to how a PDF looks. This is also where you can set preferences for default layout orientation and zoom magnification, as well as choosing a default image resolution and other rendering settings. Next, click the General category at the left side of the Preferences window. There are several features inside of the Basic Tools box at the top of the window. By checking and unchecking the different features that you want, you can change the way that the software functions. For example, Acrobat is programmed by default to convert text URLs into live links within a PDF. If you uncheck the checkbox that specifies this action, then URLs will no longer be automatically converted into links. You can also check a box that will prevent certain warning pop-up messages or uncheck the box that allows the program to show you promotional messages from Adobe upon startup. Although you may not have enough experience with Acrobat to know what preferences you want, it's a good idea to have some awareness about which program functions can be turned on and off. Most users will only need to adjust the preferences listed in the most common categories. If you click on the Commenting category, you'll see the options available for viewing comments, pop-up behavior, and making comments as part of a document review. When you click on the Documents category, you can make choices regarding how a document opens in Acrobat, as well as how it is saved. The Documents category is also where you'll find settings for hidden information and document redaction preferences. In the Full Screen settings, there are options available for customizing the way full screen presentations appear and behave in Acrobat. This category contains features related to full screen setup, navigation, appearance, and transitions. You can click through the different categories listed in the Preferences window to see some of the other program specifications that can be set. Again, you may not feel the need to set any preferences at this point, but it's good to have an idea of what you can customize in Acrobat. It is important to note that if you do not understand the impact that changing a setting will have on Acrobat, that you should not change the setting. Altering some of these settings may change the fundamental ways that Acrobat operates and can drastically alter the program's functions and features. Take care when changing settings to ensure that you understand the effect that changing the settings will have upon the program. When you have made all of your choices, click the OK button in the lower right corner of the dialog box. To close the window without saving your changes, click the Cancel button instead. The Preferences window closes and Acrobat settings change to reflect your selections. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.